On our Colorado 2022 trip, we stopped off at Bishop Castle. It was created by Jim Bishop and has a very colorful history involving fights with the federal government as well as the local county just because he wanted to build a house out of stones for his wife. In this video, I'll briefly cover Jim Bishop's fights and focus on the art of his castle. Let's get to it. On our Colorado 2022 trip with a bunch of friends, the trail leader took us to Bishop Castle. This is a huge stone fortress with three stone and steel spires reaching to the sky with the tallest topping out at 149 feet, according to my drone. There is a portcullis and an ambush point to deal with the invaders. This immediately raises questions and the hand painted signs clearly show Jim Bishop really didn't get along with the local and federal governments. That's what governments are for, getting a man's way. According to Wikipedia, Bishop harvested his stones from the nearby National Forest. The Forest Service took exception to the relocation of the rocks and off to court they went. They settled and he got to keep the stones but had to pay a fee. Later, Bishop erected a sign to promote his castle as a tourist spot and the local county objected to his sign. So off to court they went and settled with the county putting up an official Colorado Department of Transportation sign calling out the castle. Inside the castle, you can see the dozens of stained glass windows that shine brightly in the morning sun, along with some amateur artists spreading their words of wisdom. Let's take a moment and enjoy the glass. If you ever find yourself near Rye, Colorado, I highly recommend visiting the castle. Thanks for watching. Love.